Hi friends, welcome. I brought you a Mother's Day story for library today. It's called The Mother's Day Sandwich and it's by Julian Winnot and the pictures are by Maxie Shambliss. And this is a fiction story, which means it is pretend, but it is a very funny story. I think you will like it. So here's the title page. The Mother's Day Sandwich, story by Jillian Winnott, and pictures by Max, Maxie Shambliss. The Mother's Day Sandwich. Get up, Packet, said Ivy. It's Mother's Day. We have to make a surprise for Mama. Prize, said Hackett. Did she say prize or surprise? That's right, she said surprise, but he thought she said prize. Yes, said Ivy, we're making her breakfast in bed. Hackett followed Ivy into the kitchen. Hmm, said Ivy, what should we make? Cake, said Hackett. Is cake usually something you would have for breakfast? Not usually, but it is a special day. No, silly, said Ivy. We're not allowed to use the oven. Egg, said Hackett. No, said Ivy. I can't turn the egg beater and hold the bowl at the same time. It would dance all around and fall off the counter and smash. Besides, we would still need to use the stove. Hackett opened the refrigerator. Fruit? Oh, maybe fruit would be a good idea. Ivy looked at the honeydew melon. We need a sharp, a sharp knife for that, she said. Hackett took out a jar of mayonnaise. That would be a funny breakfast. Ivy frowned. Put that back, Hackett, she said. No one eats mayonnaise plain by itself. Hackett took out the pickles. Yuck, said Ivy. That would be a funny breakfast, pickles. Hackett took out a stick of butter. You are being silly, said Ivy. Hackett giggled. Oh, he spoke, he's trying to be funny, I guess. I know, said Ivy. We'll make cornflakes with milk and a banana. Mama can cut the banana herself and we'll bring orange juice. Hackett smiled. He likes that idea. Ivy climbed up on the counter and opened the cabinet. Hmm, maybe the cornflakes are in the back. Out came tuna fish, crackers, coffee and beans, soup, pears, raisins and noodles, jelly, spaghetti, vinegar, tomato sauce, tea, cookies and sardines. There they are. Ivy took down the tall box of cornflakes and poured a bowl. Oops, she said, I'll clean those up later. Can you see what happened? The cornflakes spilled when she was trying to pour it into the bowl. The, mis the milk was too high for Hackett to reach. He dragged a chair to the refrigerator and climbed up. He set the container on the chair and climbed down. Plop! <gasps> oh, hack it! Ivy sighed. We'll mop that up later. Oh my goodness, they're trying to be helpful, but they keep making messes by accident. Maybe I should get the orange juice. You get the banana. The bananas were stuck together at one end, and Hackett tugged and pulled and squeezed, but he couldn't get one loose. He picked up the whole bunch of bananas and thumped them on the table. Hackett, no, yelled Ivy. The, the bananas will be all smushed and mushy. He doesn't know how to get up one banana off of the bunch. He's still learning. She's got to teach him. Hackett started to cry. Oh no, don't cry, said Ivy. I think there's one banana that will still be good. I'll get the banana off. You get the spoon and the knife. 
So sometimes people make mistakes. We have to be patient with them, right? And kind. She's learning to teach her brother what to do. At last, everything was neatly arranged on the tray. Ready, Hackett? asked Ivy. Wait, said Hackett. He ran out to the yard, and he ran back in with a bunch of yellow buttercup flowers. Perfect! Ivy arranged them in a little pink face in the center of the tray. Then she held her fingers up to her lips. Shh, she said. Let's be as quiet as mice. We want Mama to be surprised to sneak up on Mama and surprise her with this wonderful breakfast they made. They tiptoed into Mama's room. Mama was fast asleep, silent as fog. They tiptoed in. Slowly, Ivy lowered the tray and quietly Hackett unfolded the tray's feet. Carefully, slowly, quietly, they set the tray down around Mama. Now, whispered Hackett. Now, whispered Ivy. Happy Mother's Day, they shouted. Oh my goodness, look at what happened. Mama woke up. And she was oh, surprised. She was really surprised. And look at what happened to the juice and the bowl and everything got knocked over. Whack! Ah! Huh? Mama sat up with a big jerk. The tray toppled over orange juice and milk and cornflakes and smushed banana. The buttercup flowers and water went flying. Oh my, said Mama, what is all this? Ivy and Hackett started to cry. It was supposed to be a surprise, said Ivy, for Mother's Day. Mama wiped Banana off her nose. Well, you certainly surprised me, she said laughing. Look at her face, did she look upset? No, she's laughing and smiling. That means she thinks it's funny. Ivy smiled and Hackett giggled too. Come here, you two, Mama said. Do you know what I would really like? A Mother's Day sandwich. A sandwich for breakfast, asked Ivy. I'll make it. No, me, said Hackett. Mama pulled them back to the bed. You don't make a Mother's Day sandwich in the kitchen, she said. You can make it right here. Here, said Ivy. Yes, said Mama. You be one slice of bread, Ivy, and Hackett, you be the other slice of bread, and I will be the cheese in the middle. Hackett and Ivy giggled. Do you see what their sandwich is? It's a big hug. Now listen, you two pieces of bread, said Mama. Squeeze very closely to the cheese so I can't fall out. Ivy and Hackett squeezed very close to the cheese. Happy Mother's Day, said the two slices of bread, which were really Ivy and hack it and look how happy even though we make mistakes we love each other anyway everyone makes mistakes sometimes and they were just trying to show their mama some love thank you said the cheese and that's the end of the story so Mother's Day is coming up in a couple days, and maybe you have an idea of something you can do for your mama, something you don't have to go out and buy. Maybe you could give her a hug and a kiss and tell her I love you, 
or say thank you for all of taking care of me and all the wonderful things you do. Think about some of the special things Mama does for you. Does she tuck you in at night, read you stories, um, make you yummy food? What are the things that your Mama is so good at doing? Giving you hugs and kisses. So those are the things that Mama would love for you to thank her for. That's what Mama's want from their kids. They want them to have a healthy heart and show how much they love and appreciate them. And then if you wanted to draw a picture or go outside and find some flowers that are growing, those would be wonderful too. But really all mamas want is love. Like the mama in the story, she wanted a big hug, which she called a sandwich for Mother's Day. All right, my friends. Well, I'm so glad you came today and I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Have a great day. Bye, friends.